All right, what's going on, guys? We're going to pick this Cloud Blazer real quick. We had to start late because uh, Magic Online crashed, and we had to restart it. And uh, we didn't open a Jace. We opened an Azusa, and we got a Cloud Blazer. So not terrible, but also not ideal. I guess maybe this is pretty good. It's pretty good. <clears throat> I'll take a Man of War. And then we can just plan for all the Cloud Ships that come back. Foil Summoner's Pack. Unfortunately, Magic Online foils are not what they used to be. They're nothing. They're actually worth little, literal, very little in uh, master sets because you can't redeem them. Foil mythics go for a ton in regular sets, or they did. You could find like the the worst mythic in a set, uh, and in the foil version would be like twenty tickets on Magic Online, just because people would have to have them to redeem foil sets. So that was pretty sweet. I actually like Counterspell better than Horseshoe Crab and Heavy Arbalist. I like it better than, obviously, the Twisted Image or the Actor Heroism. I'm not sure to take Counterspell here. <clears throat> uh, Asusa's worth maybe 50 cents online. <laughs> uh, $1.50. So. Not really. Oh, a Cascade Bluffs. That might be better. I'm pretty sure that's better than anything else in this pack. and also lets us maybe splash a red card. I mean, other, our other options are Bear, Borrowing, or Luminark, Lunark Mantle, so. <clears throat> Foil Hooded Hydra is still, that doesn't sound accurate. <laughs> doesn't sound accurate at all. What in the hell? It's like 24 tickets. They're bu GoBots is buying for 24 tickets? That's insane. Why? That's crazy, dude. Why? That's so confusing to me. Uh, this is not Arena Jam James, what's going on, buddy? This is actually just Magic Online. <clears throat> <laughs> I feel like I've been this gray for years now. I'm just going to take this Court Hussar. Probably better than all these other, all these other idiots. Just take all the cards that say draw you cards. Why is foil Hydra for ninety five tickets? You can't redeem cons of Tarkir anymore. That's pretty insane. I have no idea why it would be that much. Like, I know most of the price the price uh, inflation is due to being able to redeem the sets, right? So you get, like... So Wizards can send you, like, foil sets if you redeem a foil set on Magic Online. But that set is not redeemable anymore, at least as far as I know. I can't imagine they're still printing cons of Tark here. I'm sure someone in the YouTube comments will let us know. Why do we get so many Cortusars? <clears throat> I feel like I'm just going to take this cloud shift. Maybe I want the Psy. I mean, what is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Two cards are coming back. It's probably going to be uh, Blue Elemental Blast and Nettle Sentinel. Those are my guesses. I really like Psy, though. Actually, I don't really like Psy. I like Psy here because I think we have a bunch of mediocre guys. I'm going to take Cloud Shift. I'm sure someone in the YouTube comments were an angry condescending shit about it. Yeah, I mean, probably. There's always that that guy. If you're, if you're listening to this right now, don't be that guy. Oh, another counterspell. Deal. Foil Clever Personator, a Clever Impersonator is also 80 ticks. What the hell? What is with cons of Tarkir in the in the foils, man? Wow. What about Foil Ash Cloud Phoenix? Is that a thing? Mm, 
Another cloud shift. All right, I like that better than these guys. I feel like I can get these guys. Hmm, or can I? Oh, actually, maybe I just want the Myriad Landscape. It also lets us play red things if we want. I think it's Myriad Landscape here. Someone else said Myriad Landscape, and I got real excited, so I just took it. Um, Cortisar seems good. There's the other Cloud Shift. Ormancer has nothing. Might just be Nyx Police Ram, actually. Nyx Police Ram seems pretty good here. I'm pretty sure we can get another Cloud Shift. So what do we say? Nettle Sentinel and... Uh... We'll know when we see it. I'll take Twisted Image. Twisted Image is actually been pretty good for us. Oh, wow, that was great. That was a nice late Griffin Protector. I'm okay with it. All right, here we go. Let's see if we're right. Wow, Cortusar and Unearth. I was completely wrong. And completely rewarded with another Cortusar. All right. Deal. All right, so now we're just going to open Jace the Mind Sculptor, and it's going to be fine. Even that's not terrible. I can see boarding that in. All right, is it Chemister? That's very similar to a Jace the Mind Sculptor, actually. Um, I think they're uh, almost the same card. Except not. But, you know, it's basically the same thing, so you can't, you can't really get mad. I like Willbender here. I think I like Willbender over like Dauntless Cathar or Griffin Protector. I'll take a Willbender over a Jace. I mean, I think Willbender's probably better than Jace. So, you know, uh, for every every pack that has a Jace in it, if Wizards, if you want to switch it to Will, Willbenders for me, I'd, yeah, that's fine. Totally fine. I agree. I agree. I think uh, Is It Chemister and Modern is uh, super broken. Just super broken. Eh, hey, pacifism. Not too bad. Uh, yeah, I think pacifism is an easy pick, especially when we don't have much removal. There's also some good stuff come back. Uh, Mystic of the Hidden Way. Lots of three drops in this deck, though. Did you guys see Hunter there? Selena Gomez Prime, welcome back. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. You are awesome. Welcome back. Triska Decaphobia. How many accumulated knowledges could we have had by now? Like a lot, right? Like a hundred? I mean, we have Triple Cortusar Cloud Blazer. I'm pretty sure it's just Mystic here. I don't want to take accumulated knowledge over a Mystic in the hopes that, like, we get um, more accumulated knowledges that we have to play. We have to commit to... Uh, Three to four accumulated knowledges. That seems pretty rough. Not ideal. What are the possible win cons we can get out of this? I don't know. Oh, look. The Blue Sun Zenith showed up, guys. We did it. <laughs> we did it. I think it's actually the pick. Uh, I don't think these are better than Blue Sun Zenith, so. Yeah, I think deal 20 damage with creatures is probably going to be our win con. Look at that, we did it. We got the Blue Sun Zenith anyway. You know, just because Magic Online can't stop trolling us.
Uh, Cloud Shift is probably better than the Sun, but I don't know why we can't play both. Dang, I spent like an hour making a donation message to the bet of, to the beat of Get Low and Google Translate because I thought subs did it too. Wow. Wow. It's either Cloud Shift or Noble Templar. It's probably Noble Templar. Oh, I like a Shadow Mage Infiltrator, but I don't like not having a way to cast the Shadow Mage Infiltrator. I'm probably just going to take Squadron Hawk. Uh, I don't... I like Disenchant, but I, I'd rather have a Squadron Hawk and start uh, building the Squadron Hawk train. I'll take Cloud Shift number two. Wow, another Infiltrator. I'm going to take the Infiltrator. We also have Myriad Landscape. Maybe we get something cool. I don't really want Mystic because I don't want a second three drop. Like, I'd rather have Noble Templar to cycle in case we miss a land drop or just to have a bigger guy in the late game. But I think we already have enough three drops. Like, I'm not going to take a Mystic. I'd rather... It is a five drop too, but like... Hey, look, we get one anyway because no one, no one respects the Mystic of the Hidden Way. Some type of hidden way. Uh, don't care about fencing ace. I'll just take quicksand. Another cloud shift. All right. I'll take active heroism, actually. Seems fine. Man, this is taking a while. 27. Also, we can get in there for three with this guy in Twisted Image. That's pretty cool. This guy with six. Mm. And it draws your card, so whatever. Oromancer or Cord Hussar number four. We have Pacifism and Nyx Fleece Ram. I think it's just Oromancer. Sure. What up, Zipster? Oh, Rashad in port. I mean, that's eight tickets. I'll take that. It's no Jace, but whatever. This pack is great, though. Pacifism, Nyx Fleece Ram, Counterspell, Lion or Crab. Any of those come back, I'll be fine. Darien. Darien. Uh, I like Path of Peace. I actually don't care about Darien at all. Uh, Path of Peace is probably the pick here. Hopefully Shoreline Ranger comes back, but I doubt it. Chuposhi, nicely done, buddy. Nicely done. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, boy. Oh, this is a pack, boy. It's got to be Decree, right? I mean, there is a point where you draw too many cards, right? With Triple Court Hussar. Yeah, I'm taking the Decree, dude. 
we already have a Cloud Blazer and Decree is a great win condition. Flash, not exciting. Sift, pretty okay. Oh, we actually can't mill a Zenith. That's actually pretty sick. I think it's just Sift here. I like, I kind of like Boros Charm with the Cascade Bluffs, but it's kind of awkward because we just end up with an extra blue or an extra red. I'm just going to take the, the Sift here. Uh, I don't see us playing Squadron Hawk if we only have one. Ooh, why don't we have a green? Exclude seems fantastic, though. I will definitely take an exclude. Now we need to cut. That's sad. It's probably sift, to be quite honest. Actually, it's probably a Wormancer. But I can cut both of those and just assume we'll get one more playable out of this. I think Shoreline Ranger is better than a, than a sift. Just add a green. I mean, we could use my red landscape to get two forests, but I don't think that's great. Wow, double exclude? That's pretty. That's really good. I'll take double exclude. Another counter spell and a ghost ship. Good lord. Yeah, Twisted can go on the sideboard for now, especially because we have uh, a significant amount more playables. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Actually tempted to have three counter spells. That seems really good. We also have two excludes, so maybe we don't need that. I think we can take out the Willbender um, because we have two excludes, two counter spells. Just bring Ghost, Ghost Ship. How many counter spells is too many? I don't know. Next, please, Ram number two. Yeah, Shoreline Ranger seems fine. Wow, no one else... I feel like no one else is in our colors. Like, we can just be the ground deck. We can just stall with double Nyx Fleece Ram and triple Court Hussar. Bring in God's Willing. Do we want two of these? That's the question. It's not great on Court Hussar. What is it great with? Um, Pretty much just these guys. I think this is actually a one Cloud Shift deck. This deck looks great. We did not wheel Cloud Blazer, but I think that's still fine. Got an Ormancer. Ormancer's a little better now that we have a uh, double Nyx Fleece Ram. Twisted Abomination, you are late. Fashionably late to the Twisted Abomination party. Throw in the second Ranger? Um, I mean, over what, though? What are we cutting? Like, we're not just gonna add a card and not cut a card. I think, I think this deck looks perfect. Like, this is a work of art. I don't even know if I want Myriad Landscape. I might want Rashad in port, though.
Yeah, I like her. That's why I picked up the Rune Faith. I think it's actually pretty good against the aggro decks. I think this is just fine. I think that's, this looks, looks great. What are we, we're cutting one Griffin, one four drop for a six drop. That doesn't seem great. We cut Willowbender because you have double exclude, double counter spell. So I don't feel like we need a third. Like it's also really mana intensive. You pay three mana for it, and then you have to keep two mana up. Yeah, I don't want to cut a four drop for a six drop. I don't want to take both the colorless lands because we have double counter spell, which we want on on early turns. Like we want a lot of colored mana. I don't. I don't. I just don't like port. I don't see us porting very very often, especially when we're keeping up counter spell and exclude. Wow, you would have played all three colorless lands? Look, and then, like, what do you do with a hand like this with double white, triple red, triple blue, double blue? Like, it just doesn't seem great with multiple color, three colorless lands on the deck. I also don't feel like we need it. Like, we just don't need those cards. If you guys can hear the laundry that's going on in the background, I apologize. That was a good draw. Right. My red's only temporary colorless, but it also enters the battlefield tapped, which is not great for us on any turn past two. And uh, it takes two minutes to activate it, which is also not ideal. So, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not big. I'm big on it in the, in the like, the ramp decks, but I'm not good at big on it in the control decks where you just want to... Where you want mana every turn. I think it's great. Don't get me wrong. I think it's great. I just don't think it's great in our deck. Like, there's no turn we want to take off and not do something. You know what I mean? Where in the ramp decks, there is. Because you're like, oh, I just want to ramp until I get, you know, six mana or eight mana or whatever. Actually, you might as well play Griffin Protector here. Some kind of hidden way. I think we're actually just going to play Ghost Ship here because if we get another mana, we can play both of these guys next turn. Aaron Campbell. What's going on, buddy? Are you the original Ostras? Hmm. Hard to say. I mean, you've had that name as far as, as long as I've known you, so... Uh... This guy gets counters on him, doesn't he? That's pretty good. Uh, God, do we block and just assume they don't have it? I'll just take three. That's what we wanted. Oh my God, you're gonna counter this guy? Wow. Mm, hold you back, I guess. I actually like this draft format a lot, surprisingly a lot. Um, I think it, I think it mirrors similar masters formats like iconic or modern or whatever. 
And those are usually typically pretty fun. Uh, five, six, huh? All right, we'll take it. This guy's really problematic, surprisingly. I did not expect this guy to be this big of a deal. I'm, I, we're, we're hoping for, oh, but why wouldn't you play that pre-combat? <laughs> Interesting. So we can make four guys. Six, seven, eight. Hmm, are we just dead? Do they just have like trumpet strike, trumpet, trumpet blast? Hmm. Well, we got a lot of options here. We can one, two, three, four, five, six. We can make one angel, which is pretty bad. We can make four one ones, which makes you a six seven. Can we survive? We attack for six, put them to eight, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we can play any guy next turn, we can try to win. Well, that was scary. Okay, I thought we messed up. Oh, one, two, three, four. Yes. All right. Put you to eight. We did not open a Jace, unfortunately. Wow. All right. Well, that is not... It's actually... I think we're actually in good shape here if we can draw any guy that costs less than a million. Okay. Block you. Block you. Block you. Block you. And block you. Takes seven, I guess. Hmm. Now we have a counter spell. Give me a, a Nyx Fleece. Oh wow, that was that was what we didn't want, want to see for four mana. That is unfortunate. Opponent punted if they did not have ghost ship. Pretty good. I think we just lose the Pyre Hound. I mean, I guess we could Blue Sun for two and hope to hit a... Yep, we're hoping for pacifism here, guys. Actually, Nyx Fleece Rim is not terrible. That might keep us alive. Sure, draw three. Wow. Is this guy uncommon? I feel like I never see this guy, or maybe I just don't acknowledge him. Yeah, I wish it worked like that. I wish after so many opens you're just guaranteed a Jace, but unfortunately, no, you're just guaranteed another Tree of Redemption. Do we have enough? Uh, what are we taking here? Three? So we're dead from that. 
So we probably have to uh, steal one of these guys. Nope, you go here and you go here. Sure. <sighs> Let's talk about how bad this pyre hound is. Wow, that's good too. All right, so you're just mono threats here. Mana War, bounce this guy. Have no answer to this guy. All right. Cloud Blazer, does that do anything? No, none of these cards, all these cards are great, but none of them do anything. Mana War bounce a flyer, then this guy kills us. We can bounce this guy, and then they have two flyers for us. I mean, I, we could have kept this guy instead of the Mystic of the Hidden Way. We'd be at one, though. We've taken one more from the Trample. I don't know what attacking him does here. Yeah, none of these do anything. Two flyers is is no good. All right. I think our deck is actually fine. Cloud Blazer just doesn't do anything. Like, we go to four life and then we still die to uh, the the Hound. Quicksand seems okay. Why does Quicksand seem okay? That seems interesting. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of using... Uh, wasting a land to get rid of a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> like, a 1-1 one, one token. One-third of a... Not a big fan of sacrificing a land just to get rid of a one-third of a hoarding, hoarding outburst. That doesn't seem ideal. Uh, We'll keep this hand despite the lack of blue. One blue and we got Kortusar. Double blue, we get Counterspell, so... Okay, well, that's perfect. Island one time. And then I'll hit the other island off of the Cortusar. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, Nyx Fleece Ram number two seems pretty good. Mana War seems better, though. No attacks with my next fleece ram. Well, we're not going to be cycling that guy anytime soon. Tempted to bounce the uh, the court hussar. I don't think we need to do all that though. We also did see exclude, so not really something we want to be dealing with. Hey, we did it.
Do not actually ramp. Oh, they just took one there? That's weird. I guess we could have Twisted Image and Twisted Image the Horseshoe Crab post-combat, which is pretty good. Yep. I mean... Do we care if you draw two here? Did they play a land? No. No, that's fine. We're just going to bounce it anyway. I choose you, horseshoe crab. So they draw two, but we are getting rid of the quicksilver dagger, so it's basically just a divination. And they have to replay the horseshoe crab, so whatever. We did not get a Jace, unfortunately. If we had one island more instead of one plains, I feel I would feel better about this situation, but... Yeah, that's fine. Annoying, but fine. <laughs> so you can make this guy a seven. We can go block, block. Trade Noble Templar for a charge of the Cougar. Yeah, you have a crab in hand. Don't believe no beats. We didn't get a Jace. Seems like a fair trade if you want to do do the thing. Chris, add me on Steam. Just use my email address, I guess. I guess we're hoping you don't have exactly light, lightning bolt because Kindle's not going to do it here. Okay. Seems good. Chartooth Cougar for a Noble Templar and two extra mana. Another Crabarino. Alright. Now we're just going to keep up the old spells. The old spells de la countering. Rashawn imports like eight ticks. Efka, do you want a PUBG? I have not PUBG'd yet, but I do have it now. I have installed it and PUBG is now found inside of my computer sure draw one you guys should both add me on steam whatever this is it seems very scary no I don't want you to have that guy Remember that time we had as many cards as they seem to have and I don't understand what's happening? Now we're talking. Are you going to arcane denial this? Oh, you're just going to accumulate knowledge? Sure. I do like having an exclude in hand. I don't know you though, but that can easily be remedied while we parachute to our untimely demise. Nice. What happens? Do we like? Do we backstab each other if we PUBG? Well, that's unfortunate. Is it gonna be a creature? Are you gonna have a big creature? 
I see. Not a creature. Your favorite and mine. Oh, I like Blue Sun Zenith a lot here. Maybe I just want Kortusar, though. Blue Sun Zenith draws us like infinite cards. It's got to be Blue Sun Zenith, right? We ain't dummies. This Cordus are doing doing work. Six points in. Woo. Sure. And this is another horseshoe crab you're playing? I don't think I care about these things. You're gonna make my guys attack, I'm sure. Which is pretty obnoxious. Maybe I should have counted the uh the morph. Hmm. Well then. Yeah, force my team to attack. Everybody knows what's happening here. Well, I have to attack with the stupid Nyx Fleece Ram too, that's real sad. Mm -hmm, I like to know where. You got the notion. They can just kill Cortusars here. I would just kill the Cortusar. That guy has vigilance, don't you know? It's real tempting to play Blue, Blue Sun Zenith during my turn there because then we can actually get get through it, get through with it. Rock the boat, don't rock the boat, baby. Play decree. Sure. Yes. You get to draw a card. It's completely fine. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, we have to do it like this. We're going to lose a guy in each one, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, you guys, we should have, um, we should open a PUBG channel in the Discord so we can all uh, talk about PUBG there. So if you guys are on the subscriber Discord channel, um, get let's make a uh, we'll make a uh, a PUBG channel so that we can we can discuss our PUBG shenanigans. Oh, they're gonna pay a thing. Sure, I mean if we put this guy over here, they would have just killed this one instead. So one of the one of the crabs is gonna live no matter what here. So. We can also path of peace this guy and feel good about our choices, our life choices. Wow. You're just killing everybody. Man, I need to get a PC and internet and a house. <laughs> All of these things are recommended. Oh, they have no cards in hand. That's pretty good.
I have the strangest feeling that this other morph is also a guy. I have I feel like it's also a mystic of the hidden way. And it was. Alright, so we're just getting rid of Mystica hidden away there. Sure. Yeah, I definitely don't think it's a Willbender. Willbender is an uncommon, and I don't think it's played nearly as heavily as Mystic of the Hidden Way, which is very, very good, especially with Biden of Thassa. So, not going to put my money on it being a Willbender. Silver Maith, if you put your, your Twitch login information and your Discord login information in the chat, I'm sure someone will help you out. This guy's getting real obnoxious. Oh, yeah, making us attack here seems pretty bad. Oh, you're not going to make me attack here. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. I'm very appreciative. Oh, Reese's PCs, 100%. You guys are out of control. Reese's PCs has the, the superior peanut butter. You got the notion. Well, I'd like to know where. I think we just draw six cards, right? Hope they don't have a counterspell. I'm just going to exclude this guy. Is it Mystic number three? <laughs> Counterspell Wars. Mystic number three. Go to the trash can. It was Mystic number three. That's pretty funny. Oh, again, we're not having to attack? This is great news. Yeah, we're just going to draw a million next turn. So we have 10 man. We can draw seven cards. That seems good. And, and you just got to waste a counter spell? That's pretty sweet. We probably should have done it during their upkeep so they had one less card. But I assume if they had a counter spell, they would have countered. Uh, the other thing, so. Oh, decking them would have been great, but with 10 cards left, we do have a chance to draw the Blue Sun Zenith again, so that is an option. Oh, wow, they're going to accumulate a knowledge, no less? Wow. Oh, wow, now I really want to hit the Blue Sun Zenith. Hmm. Well, I'd like to know where. So we have 11 mana, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and we can keep up Cloud Shift, huh? All right, if they're not going to make us 
keep playing things, then... Or if they're not going to make us our team attack, then then I think we're in good shape here. These decks are actually surprisingly grindy. Wow, this guy's just just crushing us. Two damage a turn. Are fifty one and fifty two both crab quotes? Because that's pretty funny. I wish I had a way to deal with this gall darn mystic of the hidden way. What is this? So we got four, five, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So we have three lands left in our nine card deck. We also have a pacifism, uh, zenith, cloud ranger, cloud blazer. So that's three of the six we have. Second exclude. Second ghost ship, huh? Okie dokie. And we have a cloud shift for the cloud blazer. This is all very good. Lots of things are happening here. Oh my god, now you're going to make me attack? Wow, that's it's bold bold strategy, Cotton. Well, I'd like to know where you got them up. We have a blue sun zenith in the deck, Billy, so we're going to deck them before they, we deck ourselves. <laughs> wow, this is actually terrible blocks because we can just play Cloud Shift here and hope they don't have Counterspell, I guess. Do we, do we target Cloud Blazer and risk being Lightning Bolted, or do we just play it safe and target the Nyx Fleece Ram? I think it's an ex-police ram. So now we get to kill... They, if they don't regenerate ghost ship, we get to kill that too, which is pretty sweet. Well, they did. But we do get to kill murder of crows, which is nice. All right, so we have six cards. We drew Cloud Blazer and we drew Exclude. So we now have a passive Pacifism, a Zenith, and yeah, that, that guy's actually fine. Is it fine? Maybe we just exclude this guy just to not have to deal with him. And we have, like, they have four cards in their deck. They have to... Uh, all right, so Pacifism is gone. So seven, 12, 13, 14, 15. There are two lands in our deck. There's another Nyx Fleece Ram, I guess, too. So one land in the deck now. Uh, I believe there is a second Ram in the deck. So there's Ram, Zenith, Land. Those are three of the four cards we know about. I'm trying to think what the other fourth card could be. 
Court Hussar. Oh, there's one Court Hussar on the bottom, I think. No, there's three. Uh, yeah, one is a Court Hussar. Cool. So now we get to grab Green Sun Zenith and just kill them. And by, by Green Sun, I mean Blue Sun. So, yep. So they block two, they take six, 79, 10, 11, 12, 2, 3, 4. I mean, they definitely don't have the power on the board for uh, to survive. So they just go to one here. Let's see if you got a counter spell. No, you just draw your deck and die. All right, cool. <laughs> Sweet. I like Quicksand more now because we have seen three Mystic of the Hidden Ways. I also like God's Willing a lot because we, they do have, um, what's it called? Tell me what it's called. They have a lot of burn spells. They have, I think they have both Kindle and, uh, The other thing. What's the other thing called? L uh, outrage. They had like five morbs. They had, uh, well, most of them were, I think all three of them were, were Mystic of the, they had three Mystic of the Hidden Ways. So I'd like to have a way to deal with that. <laughs> that was uh, not a Barbably Bukov. Um, God's willing. I do like Willbender. Willbender might be better than uh, Cloud Shift. Or not Cloud Shift, uh, God's willing. I think I'm just going to put in the Willbender as... As a 41st card. I think we can do 41 cards here. God, this is round one. It feels like round ten. Usually we're done with the draft by this point. Oh, God, this hand is... Oh, actually, this hand's great because we have Shoreline Keeper to to cycle, and then we can play Cloud Hussar. Cortisar, Cortisar, exclude. And now we just get to keep it. No, oh, the old accumulated knowledge for one. A classic. Now we will not be cycling our powerful 3-4 flyer. That's annoying, but... I think we can manage. Path, Pacifism, or Blue Sun Zenith. Ooh. I like Blue Sun Zenith, obviously, but I think it's Pacifism here. It's better than Path of Peace. Um, we'll put path on the bottom and then blue sun zenith on top of that. I guess that's how that works. I don't actually know if that's on how that works. Yeah, I do have six minutes. They have 10. We do have to be careful. No, oh, that's a mystic of the hidden way. I don't want to trade a, a Court Hussar for a Goblin Token uh, when they can just triple block or block with the Morph, so. Oh, Murder of Crows, huh? 
That would have been nice to exclude. Pretty sure we're trying to hit a land here. We did. Uh, always yield to this guy and always yield to you. I'm actually not sure why we kept the the blue up. We should have kept the white up to pacify this guy, but then I got worried about time, so. Well, that guy's going to be problematic, but. Flip this guy and attack for three, right? No, it doesn't know the morph. Okay. Well. No attacks there whatsoever, huh? I feel like it's just land here. Exclude or land. It's got to be land, right? Yeah, I think we I think we lose this game, but uh it's been okay. Actually, do you just double block on these guys? Sure. Yep. It seemed pretty apparent that was going to happen. So we go to seven. It's actually not terrible considering. This guy's going to be problematic, but that's helpful. I assume you flip, yeah. All right. I'm actually going to get in there, take a goblin off the board. Oh, they didn't actually block. So we go to two, and then we go to three. So we actually have to find an answer here, which is a little scary. Especially because the path of peace is on the bottom. That is probably game. I guess if we play this guy, we could add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, if they have nothing. But I don't think that's really uh, a solid way to win here, so... Instead, we get stuck with infinite counter spells in hand, which is pretty sad. And we miss points of damage because I don't think it matters, but... Yeah, we're basically just dead to Mystic of the Hidden Way here. Wow, what if we had Decree of Justice there? That'd be insane, right? only we had two creatures we could play this turn or if we had one more life i guess i don't know this has gained us two so i think actually that was the misplay right if we just played this guy instead we would have been able to i, I think that was hasty on my part um 
I think we actually threw this game away because I was like, oh, good, I need to start gaining life. But uh, we would have been able, we would have went to one instead, instead of three. So it just doesn't do anything. So we just actually threw that game away, unfortunately. But I was also trying to play around the clock, so. Whatever. I think this deck's really good, so. Just a little grindy. Just really frustrating because we uh, lost due to our own misplays. stupid. We could have just played Mystic of the Hidden Way and just gotten in like six more damage and would have killed them, but I think we were just too afraid. We were living living in, in living in fear. Oh this hand is fantastic. I'm going to make a PUBG channel in our sweet PUBG channel. There is a PUBG channel in Discord, so you guys can... If you guys are in the Discord, you can add yourselves to that if you want to get some PUBG on. Humble Defector. Do you have the old lightning bolt in hand? Thrashy. Oh, Cloud Blazer, one thousand percent, please. Uh, let's always yield to that guy. I don't feel like, uh, I think six is the, the mana we want to avoid with them. So we can keep exclude up next turn. We also noble Templar to hit our fifth land drop. It's all very interesting. I don't know what's going on right now. Five, five mountains into two uh, pretty average dudes is not where I thought we'd be right now. Don't worry. Be happy. We're not going to play Cloud Blazer until we can uh, Cloud Shift it in the same turn. That's where we want to be. Oh, yes. You can have that. Have that little cutie. They have two cards in hand. Interesting. I feel like Noble Templar blocks their whole life. There's no way you attack here, right? Uh, this is the first game in the second round, Monsanto. Come on, buddy. Get your life together. Hmm. Do you mean first round? Is that what you're saying here? No, I'm just going to cycle this guy. I could have done it last turn, but I figured we hit a land. 
No, do not cast. Cycle. Because next turn we can play Cloud Blazer with Cloud Shift, which is pretty, pretty epic. To win the last game of the first match. We did not. We did not. Yeah, it's Bobby McFerrin. Don't worry. Don't no, now we hit it. Don't worry, be happy, man. Don't worry. Be happy. Look how four twenty blazed it is. Oh, we get this guy for free? Give it over. Give me a free dude. Huh. Well, that's unfortunate. Is it? That doesn't affect things like Trumpet Blast, so... I don't think we need to shift here. I'd rather shift as like a preventative measure. Don't worry. Be happy. We can also shift to try to hit counterspell. We actually have four cards. We can cloud shift and we can draw two from this guy. Well, not not now, but during our turn anyway, so. Oh, the aggression is real, dude. Hmm. Okay, we'll block here, block you, and we'll block you. What if they have active heroism? That's pretty good, right? I don't see cloud shifting the humble defector dude doesn't do anything, right? What does that do? I mean, we could we could activate it and then blink it, but that's just like we're drawing two cards there. And keeping a humble defector, that's the same as just blinking this and gaining two life. I feel like they have active heroism here. But I also feel like we have no choice. So. This feels like an active hero. Yep. All right. Sure. I mean, it draws us two cards, right? Like, we activate it, we cloud shift it, and then we activate it again. So, we're getting four cards, but we also get four cards if we activate it once and blink Cloud Blazer and draw four cards that way. <laughs> Either way, we end up with a 2-2 two -two and they get their 2-1 back. But we gain two extra life if we Cloud Blazer, so... I don't see how that's, just wor how that's any better than just blinking Cloud Blazer. All right, so we take five, and you take one. If we activate this, then cloud shift it, this ability will resolve. It says, draw two cards, token opponent gains control of Humble Defector. This will be a new instance of Humble Defector. So I think it's I think it's actually much sexier blinking the cloud, cloud blaze that gains us two life. Um... 
Okay, so we're just banning Mr. Mr. Boss Kapir Ponage because I have no idea what they're even saying. It's just been utter nonsense since they started, so. Uh, yeah, this seems fine. I don't, I'm, I'm, whatever. They lose a humble defector in an act of heroism. We lose a noble uh, Kortusar. Yeah, this is a pretty good hand. So we can deal seven. And we're at 26 right now? Yeah, that seems pretty good. Tantrum 14, I'm sorry, buddy. It's just my way. Got him. All right, that was pretty pretty something. Quicksand is probably better here. The crown, you can just hover over it. It should say Twitch Prime. That is a laundry dryer I hear in the back, you hear in the background. Not to be confused with another different kind of dryer. Like a hair dryer or a... I don't know what they're I don't know what they're dryers. Big Thumbs Little Phone is the name of my autobiography. In case you guys were wondering. I'm gonna keep you on top. The the problem with them trying to buff their dudes, if we change the target to like one of our own guys, the other triggers still resolve, so they still get three other triggers for it. Uh, we just get to steal one of them. So. Uh, Benki, the, the first mythic I opened in this format was a Tree of Redemption. So, yes. Yes, we have. Unfortunately, we did not actually open a Jace yet, so. What's a food dryer? Is that like a dehydrator? Yeah, because once they target it with a single spell, the triggers go on the stack. Us stealing it or changing the target doesn't change those triggers. They still get to copy it. So it's going to be a counter spell. Oh, that was such a good draw. Did I sell the tree? Yeah, I, I got that tree out of my collection as soon as I could. Cortusar was from the original Ravnica. <laughs> That's literally where it came from. Come on, buddy. That was a good draw step. You are right. I'm a fan. Let's try to hit lands awkwardly enough. I always yield to both of these. Uh, yeah, we'll just take land here. That was an Ohi mark. Oh, hi, mark. I think it was also a hey, that's uh, pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Wow, look at this nonsense that's happening right now. 
block you. Oh my god, Mono Cortusars dot deck over here. Just taking islands forever. Eh. This is where they go Frenzied Goblin number two, give it haste, mountain, make both guys unable to block. That'd be pretty good. I'd be impressed. Dauntless Catheter. Okay. Uh, the giant dude is iDubs. Hey, that's pretty good. I don't good. think we were scaring anybody with it, but maybe we were. Who knows? Really? These are interesting attacks here. You get to trade a, a lizard for a court hussar? Hey, that's pretty good. I think we're just going to play Protector here because next turn we can uh, play Cortusar and Exclude. Oh my god, Monsonster, why? <laughs> oh lord. I guess we could have attacked because if they blocked any of them, like, if they double block here, we can get rid of the, the Haster. If they block here, we can get rid of the Goblin. If they block here, we can get rid of the Goblin, so... Oh my god. Frenzy Goblins dot deck over here, dude. This is actually fine. They don't have Trumpet Blast mana. They do have active heroism mana, which is a little rough. No, no they don't. They have no mana whatsoever. <laughs> is this guy attacking? Alright, we're gonna block you then. Actually, we probably block one of these guys, right? Like, their, their mana is already pretty restricted here. We want them to be able to make as few of our guys unable to block as possible. What? You do have like a... Oh, wow. Come on. Stop being like this. Well, we are not in the business of attacking here, that's for sure. They have one card in hand, though, which is pretty okay. God, they get to make two guys unable to block, though. That's pretty brutal. I think we're just playing Cortusar. And hoping to hit something. Oh, Mana War is great. Great! Yeah, it's def, def Mana War. And it gives us another blocker, so... What are we bouncing? Probably Dauntless Cathar. It's just the most expensive, dangerous creature. I feel like that's pretty pretty promising for us. Def Manowar is probably significantly cooler than Def Leopard. You guys never heard Def Manowar? That's not... That's not, uh, Def Leopard. That's Iron Maiden. You take my life, but I'll take yours too. I play this ghost ship and I'll run you through. We gotta start getting some damage in here. And we got an exclude, so. Oh.
What? Why you do this? Sure. Oh my god. If only we kept three blue up instead. That would be so much better. We're so bad at this game, dude. I like keeping the white up for like a threat, but for like the... This is so stupid. Three, four, five, six. Uh, we get the block we take. This is actually okay. Why can't they just play more things? Now we have no creatures, so... Block you and block you. We take one, two, three, four, five. So we go to four, then we go to five. All right. Oh, <laughs> gas. Oh, man. Lions all day. And by lions, I mean rams. Yeah, game just ended, I think. No. Nah. Get that value. Oof. <laughs> Can't even attack with Court Hussar, they just block with Cathar, but I feel like our board's pretty good now. I think we won. All right, seems good. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, again, we'll keep this. Sure, buddy, we got a, we got a lot of things to go into here. Rams are the best pack. Rams are the best pack one pick one in the format. What you gonna do? I sit on you. I sit, sit, sit. I sit on you. Eat it. Get rammed on, bro. That's pretty good. You have shown me the way. Oh, two planes, huh? Okay. Give me a th something I can play here. Oh, that, I guess I guess that counts. I guess you did give me something I can play. Yeah, I guess. They got their cloud shift mana up. Back down to 20. I don't want to bounce your guy. That sounds terrible. 420 blade cloud blaze it. Oh, look who showed up. Fashionably late to the party. Take my life, but I'll take yours too. You got a blood hunter bat. I've got you. Burn, 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 burn. Tempted to bounce our cloud blazer. Seems pretty good, right?
No blocks. Here comes a big, big. Oh, that dude's got to go. Oh, my God. I'm going to send this dude on the path of peace. No blocks. Cavo, 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 chameleon. You counterspelled. You counterspelled. Well, I put confrontation post combat. I guess that's. It's, I guess that's whatever. How did I get on the trooper kick? I don't know. It's just such a catchy song, dude. It's just such a catchy Iron Maiden song. Are you not entertained? Well, this went downhill fast. Oh, all right. Oh, such goodness. Silver Mathe, you could not be more correct, my friend. That's where I want to be. Draw five. Shuffle it back in. Oh, they didn't play anything? Oh, good lord. Decree of Justice in hand. Ready to go? Not there. Good lord, that was beautiful. So we have five, we have nine. We can go Templar, Cordy. What do they get back? Dreadmaw and Climber? I actually think we should just Templar and keep up Shoreline Ranger to cycle. Actually, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I kind of like cycling these. I, I'm deadly afraid, deathly afraid of um, living death in this format. Everyone has it. I like exclude here. We were trying to hit the other counter spell, but this is fine too. I'm going to give them a turn. We're going to play old Squawkington. Senor Squawkington. No attacks with my ram. Hmm. All right, they didn't have it. Well, that's great. They didn't have anything. Oh, God. <laughs> we can actually make three angels here. That's pretty good. Send me three angels right now. Supernatural stamina? Ooh, that's good. All out. I'm just going to bounce this guy and exclude it on the way down. Because they have nothing else. Do we play a land this turn? Yes. Alright, good to know. I think 
three disfigures is probably where I'd want to be. Uh, no, you can leave. I think this is where they're living death here. Nope, just a good old-fashioned murder. Alright, I don't think they're living deathing when they're murdering our guys straight up. Pretty sure we're just going to decree of justice for eight. And keep up exclude. You excited about anything in modern now that things are starting to settle a bit after the unbanding? It's not really. I mean, I'm not like excited about anything. I think the format's great. What did I sing? Real life? What is that? I don't even know what that song is, by name. I probably know it, I just don't know it uh, by name. They're also at 22, we gotta close this game out. Do I care about this dude? Not really. I don't, he doesn't do anything. Maybe I just want angels. Nah, I just want things. I like eight one ones here. Drawing a card. It's a lot of lands. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Like they take nine here if they block mana war, which is actually just fine. Like, four cards to two cards. If they Plague Wind, like, we still get to have Noble Templar exclude in hand. Plague Wind's rough, but... Six mana. Not Plague Wind mana. Chroma's Vengeance. Wow! Better than Plague Wind in the sense that, like, they don't get to keep their guy. Could we have regenerated this? Yeah, we could have. That's so dumb. I'm so bad at this game sometimes. All the time. Totally forgot to regenerate this thing. I was thinking of Plague Wind, which doesn't actually have, uh, which doesn't let you regenerate. I like it when people I've never seen in the chat before who've never said anything uh, trigger a punt. That's nice. <laughs> Way to participate. Always fun. See you, Pippin. Have a good night, buddy. Uh, I don't want you to be alive here. Oh, good. So, what do we got? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This is 16 lands. We have one land left in our deck. That's not it, so that's good. That's amazing. So, what do we got? We got uh, Counterspell... Another griffin, I think. Yep, zenith. Pacifism. Land. What is that, five cards? That's five of the ten cards we know, so. Uh, 
Uh, another Mystic. Rangers in the graveyard. Ram. There were clearly ramifications. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We're missing three cards. Cloud shift. Oof. Bold. Swish, thanks for, thanks for the bits, buddy. And the cheers, whatever you want to call it. All right, all right. I assume this is an Anok survivalist. That's my guess. Or Willy Locks it on. Those are my guesses. Hey, that's pretty good. I like that if we draw Blue Sun Zenith, we can actually just kill them. <laughs> they went to four? Interesting. What do we got? One. Oh, wow. Two Hussars are left in the deck. That's crazy. What do we draw? A counterspell? So now we'll go H-U-S-S-S-A-R, H-U-S-S-A-R. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those are the eight cards. All right. Pacifism into Hussar, which would have hit a Zenith, I bet. One, two. Yeah, all right, cool. That that game was that game was sweet. Does Twisted Image do anything against them? They had two two, they had three six, they had What was the what was the guy? Oh, it was Ruthless Ripper. It was Ruthie. Um They had supernatural stamina. Is supernatural stamina a creature you control? I don't think so. I think it's any creature. Target creature gets plus two plus so. Yeah, we're gonna bring in Willbender because of that. And also because they probably have removal. And I'm just gonna submit like this because. Yeah, sometimes the bitch just bounce right out of the cup because the cup is small. It's a tiny cup. I try to make sure very little gets in the way of the playing area. Uh, just mostly my head on the small, like, lower left-hand side. But, you know. I like Professor Dan Dan adding two kappas after every every comment. I guess we can delete all this. I like that we can predict the accuracy of our remaining deck. Oh, this is a good hand. If we can draw three lands off the top, I would keep this hand every single day. Uh, I will keep this hand, however. And you will go to the bottom and never come back. All right, we're getting there. I bet you're not even a real professor, are you, Professor Dan Dan? I'm on to you. Well, hopefully they don't cultivate here. Oh, they didn't do anything. Hopefully we hit a land here. All right, magic's a cool game. Oh, they didn't do anything again. Hey, look at that. We found a card to play in our deck. That's great.
Yeah, you heard me. Not a real professor. You phony. Oh, they just haven't... What is going on? Why haven't they done anything? What are their five cards? Just a bunch of court. Is it is it five colossal dreadmaws in hand? I'm definitely gonna take the island here, even though I'd rather have the stupid other thing. Oh, professional Dan Dan. That's pretty good. I can see them going cycle noble templar cycle another thing cycle horror and then just being like living death get wrecked why aren't they still playing anything i don't understand i am very confused i'm actually just gonna pass here we got counterspell we can play mystic next turn keep up counterspell we can play griffin after that keep up counterspell what is happening right now they have five cards are they just all lands Now, one, two, three, four, six, seven. We missed two land drops, but I still feel like we're in good shape here. So, maybe he wants my spaghetti. Somebody touch my spaghetti. That was an old meme. That was a good one. Oh, they do have a Chroma's Vengeance. That's true. That's double white, though, isn't it? You can't fool me. I don't know what's going on. Maybe they're just not playing anything in hopes that they get too white before we actually put enough pressure on them and they can just a Chroma's Vengeance everything. That seems real greedy, though. Right now. I think we're just going to deal one less damage and uh, in the hopes of Blue Suns anything at the end of their turn. Murder. Boop. Get shifty. You just upgraded my creature. I'll trade a cloud shift for a murder and the three mana it takes to flip this guy. That's pretty good. Sacrifice, huh? I will get rid of a Nick's Police Ram. He's done his job. Do we just blue sun zenith for one? Uh, that seems rough. Yeah, we're just going to pass here. And by pass, I mean not going to do anything on their turn. Are we just in, like, total control this game? I have no idea what's going on. For Gryffindor! Two points for Gryffindor! Plummet for Gryffindor. You got it. Batsy. Yeah, whatever. I mean, I'm not going to lower my counterspell shield just for this idiot. <laughs> Also, boy, this Mystic of the Hidden Way is doing some work, boy. So is this Counterspell, by the way.
Epic confrontation. Now we're going to counterspell this. Don't you dare take my clock away. Oh, the double epic confrontation. Well, I guess you got me there. I will block. Looking for a counterspell of some sort. I'll take a mystic of the hidden way. Oh god, again? Oh, how many times are you going to get me with this and I'm not going to have the stupid regeneration mana up? Oh, it's infuriating. Whatever. We're still fine. Oh, it's so frustrating. They're splashing for a Chroma's Vengeance, which is double white. That's pretty funny. I guess the first time they got it with Cultivate. All right, we got that four turn clock back. Actually, might as well attack with everybody, right? Three turn clock after all. I'm gonna get a drink after this. We'll probably do another one. Having Blue Sun and Decree of Justice gives us a lot of game here. I want you to show me the way. They have one card in hand. That's unbelievable to me. I'm actually totally okay with drawing lands here because of, uh, you know, Blue Sun Zenith and Creative Justice, so. I'm going to grab a drink and then we'll start another one after this. Like you do. I mean, we could, we could toss down four 1-1s one -ones after this if we want to. I don't know if that's better than drawing four cards. Probably not. <laughs> You're just going to do nothing? Oh, we got one card in hand. All right. Well, we're just going to... I'll draw one card and make four one ones instead, which is basically the same. Oh, that's so strong, dude. We could bounce this guy, put them to one. Seems worse. What kind of drink do I fancy? Any diet, mostly diet beverages, diet Mountain Dew, diet Coke, water. Water's a diet beverage, right? All right, you're at two. They got the double white. Here comes the old Chroma's Vengeance. They've just been holding it this whole time. They're going to attack first. And they're going to play the Chroma's Vengeance that they've had since turn one. Ready? <laughs> it's so predictable. We could, couldn't have drawn it up any better. No, B. Got him. That was pretty good. I like it. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed the content. If you don't, I apologize. We'll do better in the future. So you can still subscribe, and then maybe we'll do better. Uh, well, see you around.